Bible of Fayette High. I'm Justin Staples, and today is Friday, September 30th, 2016. We do have a few announcements you may need to listen very closely to. Remember that the Fable Factory will be doing auditions for the Jungle Book next Monday, October 3rd, 2016 at the Oxford Public Library at 6 p.m. For more information, please visit your high school main office. Learning earnings will be starting to double in October and in November, so you may need to pay very close attention to those learning earnings so you can gain more points. And seniors, listen up. If you still want to vote this year, you better do your registry here at the local courthouse in town. Now we're going to go check up our story this week with Hannah Vanderwall. On Wednesday, September 21st, five members of the Fayette High School Student Council attended the Chick-fil-A Leader Academy cook-off at Delta State University. The Academy not only provides leadership skills, but also puts the skills to action. While the event, the five members of the council participated in a Feeding Children Everywhere service project. They helped pack more than over 100,000 meals for children in Mississippi. For further details on the Academy, we talked to Student Council Advisors Gail Cowell. Uh, what is the purpose of Chick-fil-A Leader Academy? It's to um, actually train students to be leaders. It's not just like learning about leadership, it's actually action. So you're not only learning how to be a leader, but there's charges that we do that actually have them go out and practice their leadership skills. So they chose our Lafette School. So that was a big honor that they chose us. Yeah. Okay. This year we've actually have opened it up so that other students can come in and we're using our student council members and then we're adding people. So actually, if there are some people that are interested, um, you just have to be committed that you can come one afternoon of uh, a month. And so we have our meetings and then you have to participate in the projects. And there's a form that you can fill out that shows like your interest and what other things you've done. So you can actually put in there if someone is interested that they can um, come and see me and they can actually possibly sign up if they want to join us. And then if not this year, then they'll have next year they can join us. We meet once a month after school for about an hour. Good evening, we're standing at 54 degrees with clear skies right now. The good news is the clear skies will stay apart through our Friday and will continue on to our Saturday right around 77 degrees with mostly sunny skies. And again, the winds will be on the light side right around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now we're going to get check on our sports with Laura Branch. Hi, I'm Laura Branch. Welcome to This Week on the Ship. After a slow start, Lady Doors Volleyball exchanged games with the Senatobia Warriors. Lafayette pushed a set five winning the match with a dominant game from senior Oriana Shaw. With a game versus a Caledonia for a district game, tune in next week for game updates versus Caledonia and Amory. After getting sixth place in this weekend's cross country meet, I had the opportunity to talk to the number two female runner in 4A cross country, Sarah Ray Goldsby. So where did you come from? Potts count, because I came from Bethlehem Christian School. So. Did you run cross country there? No. I ran, we ran once a year, every year, and it was at the end of the year. It was only one race. What made you want to try out for cross country? I just wanted to run something else, another sport. Did you know that you were a good runner? Mm -mm. No. Did you ever imagine yourself being the number two female runner in 4A? No. <laughs> What other sports do you play? Volleyball and softball, and I run track. So which one is your, do you think cross country is your best sport? Um, I don't know yet, because I haven't played other sports, but so far, yeah. So will you continue running cross country in your next high school years? Yes. Okay. This past Friday, our Lafayette football team played versus Charleston. Pulling out a win of 34 to 21, making them now 3 and 2. With touchdowns from Jamarcus Quarles, Brandon Turnage, Tyler Williams, and Jamie Shaw, Robbie Langley also scored a collective 10 points. Our football team will now prepare for a game at Ripley this Friday. Wow. How did your boys do tonight? Uh, well, it was kind of a tale of two halves. In the first half, obviously, we played really well. And in the second half, I'm not real sure how we played. We didn't tackle well. Uh, we didn't get lined up a, a, a couple of times. Uh, 
few times. The effort wasn't exactly what we wanted it to be, but uh, overall, I mean, we just beat a really good football team. How many tackles did you get tonight? Uh, I'd say probably about nine to you. So how does that feel to add on to your 55 that you've already had this season? Uh, it feels great just being a team leader and just every week uh, getting, getting better and better. This has been This Week on the Show. Before we wrap up the show next Friday, I will be here doing the weather by Dan Cordes. We'll be introducing you to one of the fellow classmates here, the yearbook staff at Macy Childers, and we're very excited to have her anchor next Friday. That's going to conclude the show this week. I'm Justin Staples. You have a good weekend. From the home of the Commodores.